Hello, I am Biscuit. In this video I will be exploring the mystery of the detonation ending of the Stanley Parable. I opened the game's map file in my favorite editor and read what connects where. Thus, I now know precisely what each button does. For instance, the numbered buttons, the ones that are so nicely numbered from 1 to 5, they do nothing. They are of absolutely no consequence whatsoever. They just make a nice little sound, but aside from that, pressing those buttons achieves nothing at all. Now what about the other buttons, such as these four right next to the entrance door? Well, this is interesting. These four buttons here, called cat pots, they do nothing at all. Moving ahead, these two buttons, both called front button 1A, they don't do anything either. Put some extra time on the clock, why not? That console the there, surely it must do something. What's the matter, Stanley? Well, yeah, no it makes it sparks. Then it is disabled for two seconds, after which you can make more sparks. That's all that it does. Next, let's see... Ah, it's the failsafe. This button is broken because of an error in the map design. I can fix it, though. Here's what the failsafe is supposed to do. Yep, it's destined to fail. Next, the code buttons. They are placed in a sequence of four sets of four buttons. Each set of four buttons activates the next set of four buttons. After a selection is made in each of the four consoles, the screens will show that the combination was incorrect. There are 256 possible combinations that you might try to enter, but none of them are correct. No combination is ever accepted. Additionally, when the first button is pressed, a 24-second timer is started. When the timer expires, the code button monitors will sparkle, and the code buttons will no longer be usable. Near the exit, there is a very peculiar set of four buttons. As it stands, these four green buttons do not do anything at all. I think they should fill up the battery gorge, but there is a typo in the map. The computer display that they attempt to control simply does not exist. The following 18 buttons have identical effect. First of all, they make sounds. Secondly, when you click them, there is a 50% chance that the monitor displays will show the text INCORRECT. After which, there are seven possible outcomes that may happen. In six of the seven cases, the monitor will display images of buttons of different colors. In the seventh case, the monitor flashes quickly between six different images. Just to be clear, the image that is shown on the monitor has no connection whatsoever to anything. It is utterly useless for the purpose of helping to solve the puzzle. The image is a decoration, nothing more. Oops, I almost forgot. Here are six more buttons that do not do anything. Four there and two here. No, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button. The big red button? Each function is to display a password error message for 15 seconds. It counts the attempts. After the third try, the input is locked and no longer usable. You may have already guessed correctly, there is no way to make it ever accept a password. But here's a spoiler for you. Let's see, is there anything else? What is up there anyway? Stanley cannot jump, and Stanley cannot climb either. But I am not Stanley, and I am curious. Let's see, let's see, what do we have here? What do we have here? There's a door, which doesn't open. There is another door, a more interesting door by the looks of it. It opens not either. More doors, more doors that do not open. Oh, something shimmers in the distance. Yep, another decoy door. Let's see, a secret computer display, which is a decoy. Obviously, because Stanley could never reach it, so there's no reason to put any input functionality to it. How about the escape door? Well, the narrator locks the door, so you cannot exit, but hypothetically speaking, what would happen if the door suddenly vanished? 
we could just walk through. Yes, we are free, we are free. <coughs> There's nothing here. There's not even a dormitory portal in this tunnel. You really cannot escape this room. Once you click the on button, this is my final conclusion. Feel free to prove me wrong. I hope you found this video interesting, and I really hope that you didn't watch this video without first playing The Stanley Parable. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!